Egypt builds a new 2,000-kilometer-long high-speed, electrified mainline and freight rail network from scratch. This will create the world's sixth-largest high-speed rail system. Is this real? Is it just talk on paper or just dreams? Watch the video with us to see what has been accomplished on the ground and Egypt's endless ambition to grow its economy and catch up with the superpowers. At the beginning, I would like to introduce myself to you. I am Mohammed, 40 years old, from Egypt. I present my channel in English to help all those interested in Egypt to know everything new related to tourism or new mega projects in Egypt. And I advise my Egyptian and Arab friends who follow me to publish the videos to your foreign friends. Without any further ado, let's get started. With the increase in the population in Egypt, and thus the establishment of new urban communities, outside the Nile Valley and its delta, to redistribute the population and benefit from the wealth of the state. On top of these new urban communities is the new administrative capital, which will move Egypt towards achieving the new republic, which the state aims for in a comprehensive construction plan in all fields. And with the ambition of the Egyptian state to develop its economy to become one of the 30 largest economies in the world, Egypt is actively looking for opportunities to support its growing country. It invested in its infrastructure and established many advanced means of transportation, such as the development of its road network, so that Egypt ranked 28th in the world in road quality. It also developed the Cairo subway and constructed BRT, LRT, and monorail in Greater Cairo. To achieve this goal, Egypt is investing in a high-speed electric mainline and freight rail network to transform the daily life of Egyptians through the latest means of transportation and to securely connect people and goods across Egypt with its new expansions. To keep Egypt moving forward, the new reliable and sustainable railway system will provide efficient and safe transportation of people and goods. The 2,000-kilometer modern railway network, which will connect the country's economic and development hotspots, consists of three lines. The first line of the main network will be 660 kilometers long of railways, linking the cities of Ain Sokhna on the Red Sea with Alexandria and Marsa Matru on the Mediterranean. This section will provide an attractive electric transmission system for Greater Cairo. As for the second line, it will be about 1,100 kilometers long and will extend between Greater Cairo and Abba Simbel, near the Sudanese border, and support urban development in the south. The third line covers 225 kilometers and connects the archaeological World Heritage sites in Luxor with the port of Hergada and the port of Safaga on the Red Sea and facilitates the transportation of goods into Egypt. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2025. But here is the important question, is there an important feasibility for Egypt for this project? Connecting 60 cities across the country, 90% of Egyptians get access long-distance trips, save passengers up to 50% in travel time, reduce carbon and reduce air emissions by more than 70% compared to car or bus traffic. Ensure faster delivery of goods by constructing a railway from the Red Sea to the Mediterranean Sea, the Suez Canal on tracks that will extend across the entire country, providing 15,000 job opportunities in construction and 2,000 permanent jobs in the first phase of it only. Positively impacting the economy and increasing the quality of life for people in Egypt default text. Of course, yes, this network is one of the many tools that Egypt uses to advance its economy. The system will see the operation of three types of trains. The first, the high-speed train is traveling at a speed of 250 km per hour. The second, the regional train at a speed of 160 km per hour. And the third, freight locomotive at a speed of 120 km per hour. Line 1 includes 22 stations including 10 high-speed train stations and 12 regional stations, 12 high-speed train 22 regional trains, and 10 freight locomotive. 
It is called the alternative to the land Suez Canal for linking the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea, passing through the most important and largest Egyptian cities. Line 2 includes 36 stations, including 9 high-speed train stations and 27 regional stations, 20 high-speed train, 48 regional trains, and 20 freight locomotive. It is a line connecting the north with the south and connecting the cities of Upper Egypt and its famous pharaonic monuments to the heart of Egypt. Line 3 includes three stations, including two high-speed train stations and one regional station, six high-speed train, 16 regional trains, and 20 freight locomotive. It is the connecting line between the most important tourism cities in Egypt, Luxor and Aswan on the one hand, and Hergada and Safaga on the other. It really will be a fun trip. The study of the project in Egypt began in 2015 with the establishment of a huge network of high-speed trains in Egypt. The project was put up for tender, and Chinese, French and German companies applied for the implementation of the project. Offers from the government were studied. On September 1, 2021, the Egyptian government, represented by the Egyptian National Authority for Tunnels affiliated to the Ministry of Transport, signed with the German company Siemens Mobility Alliance with the Arab contractors and Oriscom construction companies, to design, implement, and maintain the first line of the high-speed electric train network with a length of 660 kilometers, with a value of 4.45 billion US dollars. On May 28, 2022, the Egyptian president witnessed the signing of the sixth largest high-speed railway system in the world, with a length of 2,000 km. It consists of three lines, with a value of 11 billion US dollars, for the second line. The project includes system integration, project management, regional high-speed trains, locomotives, signaling and communications, electrification, ticketing, storage, workshop equipment, train maintenance, and infrastructure for 15 years. The construction of a normal, not high-speed, electric train line has been proposed, from Port Said to Abu Khur on the Mediterranean coast, to be implemented by Egyptian private sector companies under the control of the Ministry of Transport, and a link with the German fast train network will be studied. This is to correct information, Many great news sources, and unfortunately, there are official ones, announced that this line is the fourth line of the high-speed train network, and this is not true. These three lines, with a total of 2,000 km, are what was contracted for, and work has already been done on the ground. Excavations, tracks, and construction of stations have begun. All this is the first stage of the network. Anything other than this is under study, and no contracts have been signed on it, and this is also to correct the information circulated. To confirm the information, you can go to the Siemens Mobility website or the Egyptian Authority for Tunnels website. Because they are the parties to the contract and are entrusted with the designs and implementation of all stages of the project, and I will leave you the links in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit like, if you want to watch more videos about mega projects and tourist attractions in Egypt, please subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to write to us your comment about the video or any topics that you would like us to review in the upcoming videos.